Hey yo, what's good y'all? This is Major from HoodHype.com and you're looking at the HTC Droid Eris and this is the full product review. Uh, this phone is exclusively available on Verizon Wireless. It's one of the newest touchscreen devices uh, to go ahead and hit their service. And let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware so we can get into it. Uh, first thing you're going to notice about the Droid Eris, it's got the rounded edges, uh, the real sleek design. Uh, Across the back here, you've got HTC's kind of rubberized back, which you'll see on a lot of their other phones. It's got the Google branding across the back. Um, over here on the front, you've got your home, menu, back, search buttons. Uh, two big pluses, you got your dedicated talk buttons. So you got, you know, send and end. And then also you got your trackball, which, you know, to me is another big plus. I don't use it a whole bunch, but it's always nice to have another way to navigate around your phone. So they came through with the trackball on that. Over here on the left hand side, you got your volume buttons. You got your 3.5 millimeter, you know, headphone jack at the top. Got your five megapixel camera, video recorder right there. And then down here at the bottom, you've got your USB charger. And um, the hardware is real nice on this phone, man. It's a good setup, uh, real, you know, real kind of sexy design to it. The only thing I don't like is the screen size is on the small side. It's only 3.2 inches. I prefer, you know, 3.5 or the 3.7. The closer you can get to that four inch mark, the better the display. Uh, the main reason too is this phone doesn't have a slide out keyboard. So everything you're gonna do on this phone is gonna be touch screen. So it helps to have that extra half an inch. But all that aside, the phone's got a real good design. Let's go ahead and jump into the software and fire that up. Let's go ahead and bring it up close. As you can see, you've got HTC's uh, Sense interface. And what that is, it's an extra layer built on top of Google Android. This phone is running Android 1.5 as opposed to the new and improved 2.0, but the update's coming soon. So rumor has it in about four to six weeks, this phone will be running 2.0. And once that happens, this phone will be head to head with just about any other smartphone on the market. Um, some of the big strengths of this phone is it is Wi-Fi enabled, as you can tell by that sensor up there. I mean, excuse me, not that, by that sensor, that icon up there. Um, the Wi-Fi really helps, especially with the web browsing. Uh, this phone's got a lot of web browsing features, which I'll get into later, but the Wi-Fi helps it to just really click and, you know, makes browsing real fast. Uh, some of the other big pluses, um, number one, it's a Google phone, so of course you've got Gmail. Uh, which you know for me i use gmail for everything so you can see you've got that here and that looks a lot like gmail that you're going to see on your desktop and you can scroll through that and then also you got android market which i think google's up to about 20,000 apps now so if you bring that up you know you can browse you can search for applications games uh you can also search by what's free or what's got the highest rating so the android market is real sweet uh, another big plus is the messaging options you got on this phone. I'll start off with the email. When you first get the phone, you swipe over to that tab, and you'll see here you've got Microsoft Exchange support, or if you've got just a standard pop email address, you can go ahead and set that up and have all your email dump into you know one universal inbox. Also, this phone supports the threaded SMS messaging, which I'm a big fan of, I know on my old Blackberry, you know, all your text messages come in one message at a time. And this basically takes, you know, individual texts and treats them as one big threaded message like you see here. And I like that look a whole lot better. So messaging wise, this phone will definitely suit your needs. Um, I pointed out earlier, this is running HTC Sense. So you've got seven, go ahead and count them up. Seven panels that you can customize. And the phone supports widgets, so you can, you know, you see here you got the clock, weather widget. Over here, got the Facebook, got the music widget. So that's real cool, man. You can customize it exactly the way you want it, which is, you know, always nice to be able to do. Um, really, man, software-wise, I don't really have a lot of, you know, a lot to dislike about the software on this phone. The only thing that I would say is that it came out with 1.5 when 2.0 was just available but like I said the updates on its way so that'll be fixed real soon uh, give a big you know high mark to the software on the phone the other thing too that you probably notice here everything is just real fast I mean there's no lagginess you know no delay in anything that you do everything just kind of 
jumps right out at you. And last but not least, let's go ahead and take a look at the multimedia. Let's go ahead and pull up the browser. And with this being Google, of course, it's going to default to that. Let's go ahead and rotate it. You got your accelerometer, which will kick in. And this version of Android does have bookmarks. They don't look quite as good as what you'll get, you know, on the Motorola Droid, but they are still, you know, functional. And the bookmark will give you a quick preview. This phone does have flashlight built into it so a lot of flash content you know you'll be able to play it right in the browser on this phone that's a quick look at the hood height page and so like i said browsing is one of the major pluses i mean especially once you get it connected to wi-fi you'll be able to search you know just about anything on this phone and have it respond super fast the only area as far as multimedia that i don't like about this phone is the media player and that just seems to be something across Android all together. I mean the media player. Let's go ahead and pull it up I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, it's a it's a It's a solid looking player. It's nothing So that's that clips right there and you see man, it's got a good look to it I mean you got your buttons down here at the bottom. You got your artwork at the top I just I mean aside from that though, there's really not a whole lot you can do. I know with blackberries you can you know pull up the EQ kind of customize it if you want a hip-hop sound so that'll give you a little more bass uh, I think Blackberry's got a bass boost function built in you don't get any of that over here over here you can do shuffle and you know load up your playlist and after that that's really it man no other you know special features so I'd like to see them maybe add that in down the road um, if they could get that in that would probably just put you know Android over the top but all in all, man, the software is good. Multimedia features are good. And really, man, when you factor all that in, and then you also take a look at the price, um, it's tough to you know, steer away from this phone. Right now, it's $99.99 over on Verizon Wireless. Um, they were doing buy one, get one free, which is another big plus. And when you look at some of the other smartphones that are on the market that are you know, going for $200, $179, it's real tough to you know, find a a reason to stay away from this phone so all in all I'm gonna give it a score of 8 out of 10 super solid device uh, be looking for some other HTC products on Verizon in the near future but uh, if you're looking for a smartphone and you're on a little bit of a budget definitely consider this one the HTC droid Eris exclusively on Verizon wireless this is major for hoodhype.com signing off peace